Yo, what is up, SP Motivation Nation? What is up? What is, welcome back to another episode of the podcast. Y'all know how we do it. We always get our podcast on, on Sundays. We always do our Sunday podcast, y'all. I hope y'all doing good, feeling good, and everything. Uh, We're going to do this podcast real quick. Is it 4 o'clock? We're going to go to church. All right. So, y'all ready? We're going to get this started. So, mostly this podcast is going to be for everybody, but... I definitely wanted to say this to my young men uh, as we start the year. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough, but we're going to make it. All right. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this time you've given us to be on this podcast. Lord, we ask you right now that you would bless it, Lord, and let it help somebody for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> Stand focused. Thank you. Thank you, Lexus. Stand focused. In keeping your heart right. Staying focused and keeping your heart right. So in this new year, I want to talk to you guys about in this new year, as we start this new year, as this new year is still getting started, as we're, as we're doing our business, as we're going about our day in our life, I want us to remember that we need to remain focused. In this new year, there, there are some of us, we have made proclamations. Right, we made proclamations like we wanted. Excuse me, we wanted to do better with our health. We wanted to do uh, better with our finances. Right, we wanted to do better. Like, like there's certain things we said we want to do better in this new year. Right, we wrote it down. We talked about it with people. We talked about it with our friends. We talked about it with our family. We talked about it with those we care about. Right, and so we want. And so the thing that we're aiming at right now is staying focused and keeping your heart right. And that's a very important thing. And this applies to all of us, even me. We have to do that in order to be able to progress and do what we need to do in order to reach our purpose, in order to reach the goals and the dreams that we want, in order to be able to walk fully in the calling and the gift that God has given us. We have to stay focused because if we're not focused, then we can't achieve anything. We can't we can't set new goals. We can't get to goals. We can't help other people. We can't reach other people. Why? Because we're off in la la land. Right. So, every year people make resolutions. We say we want to do this, we want to do the other. But one thing is that we must ask ourselves, have we been staying focused? In this new year, have you asked yourself, have you been staying focused on your dreams? Have you been staying focused on God? Have you been staying focused on the uh, purposeful relationship? Remember I talked uh, a year ago, I did a motivational post, purposeful relationships. Are you staying focused on those purposeful relationships? Because what happens is when you get when you get caught up in an unpurposeful friendship or relationship, it takes you off course. When you get caught up in a bad friendship, it takes you off course. When you get caught up with friends and people who are elevating and going to the next level, it takes you off course. And it takes you further from what you're supposed to be doing, further than you want to be even be. You're like, I'm not supposed to be over. Right? I'm, I'm not supposed to be over here. I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm not supposed to be doing... What am I doing? Sometimes you got to shake yourself and wake up and say, hey, get back on track. Hey, get back on what you're doing. Get back on your personal development. Get back on getting you better. Get back on getting you to where you want to be in your life. 2023 can be your year. But you got to stay focused. I've told you guys that before. 2023 can be your year, but you have to stay focused. Proverbs 23, 4 and 23 says, keep your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Keep your heart. Keep your heart with all diligence. Make sure you're doing the things you need to do. And I'm talking to myself too. Make sure we're doing the things that are necessary for us to elevate and to do better in God. Now we can't do better in God if we're not living right. Can't do better in God we out there living in sin and we out there doing all this other dumb stuff. We can't be, we can't, we can't elevate and ask God to elevate us and put us in certain places if we're not doing what we're supposed to. God's like, I need you to do what you're supposed to do. You're not on your, you're not in your grind. You're not on your duties. You're not on your stuff. You're not on your, your, uh, the things you're supposed to be doing. Right? So how can we expect God to bless us if we're not doing what we're supposed to? 
Why we must remain focused. I'm going to make this a quick video. Why we must remain focused. I want to remain focused because I want to show this next generation what it's like when you focus on God and you focus on the dream and you focus on the gift that he's giving you and you see the blessings come in. I want to show this generation that you can keep yourself from this crazy world. You can keep yourself from all these crazy things. Drinking, smoking, right? Going to the clubs, going, going, going to the uh, strip clubs and all these. I'm showing this generation you can have a great life and you don't need those things to have a great life. But the world today has concocted this idea that you need all these things to have a great life. Now you, right, you need drugs to have a great life. You need partying and drinking and all this other crazy stuff in your life to have a great life. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm 26 year old. Never drink, never smoke, never went to none of that. And I have a great life. And I want to improve my life. And I want to make my life better. So I can help other people's lives get better. But the problem with our young generation is they keep getting off track. They keep getting sidetracked. They keep thinking about this. They keep thinking about that. They keep thinking about, oh, well, what does this person think of me? Or what does that person think of me? It doesn't matter what they think. You just need to focus on what you're doing, your purpose, the gift that God is giving you, the heart that God is. Make sure your heart and your mind is in check. Keep yourself in check. And that's all that matters. That's really all. Not, not None of that. Not your boyfriend, not your girlfriend, not, not your sister, your brother. None of that matters. And I'm not belittling your, anybody's family or anything, but I'm saying none of that matters. None of those things matters if you're not staying focused on the purpose that God has for you. Right. We, have, we must realize that we have to stay focused. Right? I want to show this generation that God is great and he can still work and move in our lives no matter what. I want to show this generation that God is great and he can still work and move in your life no matter what. No matter if you stumble, no matter if you fall, no matter if you mess up, no matter if you come up short. The Bible says all have come short and, and uh, all have come short of the glory of God. All of us. All of us. They still God in the flesh. And he can take a broken, messed up life and he can turn it around. God can still take a broken life. If you feel like your life is broken and messed up and in and, 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 and shambles, God can still take your life and say, make something beautiful and amazing out of it. I say that to myself sometimes, too, when I get when I get in certain spots in my life. I'm like, God, how in the world are you going to take this and make something great out of it? And he always shows me this is how. He always showed me, this is how I'm going to take this problem, this issue, this circumstance, this thing that you're dealing with. This is how I'm going to take this and make your life better. This is how I'm going to take this and, and let it help you elevate. So one thing we do after, another thing we have to realize is that when we go through things, look at it as a time to elevate and be better. Look at it as a time, look at it as a time to reflect and be better and do better for God so you can get to what he has for you. Right? God can take you from being an outcast to the one everyone looks up to. No matter who you are, God can take you from being the outcast to the one that everybody looks up to. Remember, nobody came around you, nobody talked to you, nobody really dealt with you because they thought you were a problem and you were an issue and everything. But God can take that and he can make you the very person that everybody looks up to, everybody talks to, everybody deals with, everybody gets advice from. Why? Because God knows how to take things that are messed up, that are that are uh, that that people say, man, there's no fix in this person or there's no fix in this or there's no fix in that. Right. And God's like, mm, bring it to me. Let, let me see that. <laughs> I'm going to do this, this, and that. Say, how in the world? God did it. How in the world did you get? God did it. How did you? God did it. God took whatever was messed up, whatever was wrong, whatever was the problem, God takes it and he fixes it. But the problem is we do not give the problem to God. We try to give it to mommy. We try to give it to daddy. We try to give it to brother and sister. We give it to everybody else, but we never want to give it to God. And think of it this way. The sooner you give the problem... To God, we're talking about staying focused. The sooner you give the problem to God, the, the, the sooner it can get fixed.
the sooner it can get fixed. Why we must stay focused. I want to, so for me, it's I want to lead the next generation that's coming up behind me and show them that, show them what happens when you focus on God. Right? I want to show this next generation, this is what happens when you focus on God. This is what happens when you focus on your relationship with God. This is what happens when you focus on your personal development. You got, and you doing, and this is, and you got, that's what happens when you stay focused. That's what happens when you focus on your personal development. That's what happens when you're not worried about what everybody else thinks, how everybody else feels, what everybody else is doing. That, that's what happens. That's what happens. Right? God blessed me to the point where I can, I can represent a Christian brand now. That's what happens when you stay focused. They text me yesterday and say, hey, Shannon, the shirt is coming. The, uh, the sweater is coming. Right? That's what happens when you stay focused. And I was like, man, I want to get more things like that. So I have to stay focused. I have to stay focused on my personal development. I have to stay focused on my podcast. I have to stay focused on working out. I have to stay focused on reaching people and getting people. I have to stay focused. Why? Because I have a dream and a goal. And that's what you need to be doing in 2023. I see it already. We're getting off focus. We're getting off course. And this is only the start of the year. We can't do that. We got to stay focused. We got to stay focused for our family. We got to stay focused for our friends. We got to stay focused for our church. We got to stay focused for a world that lo- that is lost and does not know God. We got to show this next generation what to do. We got to lead the roadmap. For- Listen to me very closely. We have to lead the roadmap for the next generation. Stop being selfish. You are not on track. You are not doing what you're supposed to. You're not on your personal development. You're not on your fashion. You're grooming. You're not on these things. You're not working out of the gym. You didn't quit. It's week one and you didn't already quit. You didn't already gave up. You already sitting down. You already uh, sitting down with the remote in your hand eating popcorn and it's only January 1st. We got work to do. We don't got time to get sidetracked. We got work to do. There's too much work for, to do for you to be sitting down right now. It's too much work to do. <laughs> Blessings of staying focused. This is what happens. This is what happens. Blessings of staying focused. He told the children of Israel in the book of Deuteronomy, he told the children of Israel, when he, this was the time when he was bringing them out of Egypt, he told them, he said, do, uh, he told them that if they would do what he commanded them, that he would bless them. Right? So we're going to go to it. Deuteronomy chapter 28. He said, and it came to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and to observe to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God, right, thy God will set thee on high above all nations. I mean you're gonna be elevated above people. He said, Bless shall come. He said, All these blessings shall come, uh, come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shalt thou be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, mean kind meaning flock, sheep, animal, or whatever livestock they had during that time. That's what they, when you see the word kind, that's what it means. And the, the flocks of thy, of thy sheep. Blessed shalt thou be thy basket and thy storehouse. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in. Blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies to rise up against thee. One, uh, uh, rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. There shall come out against thee one way and shall flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall bless, the Lord shall command the blessings upon thee, upon thee in thy storehouse and all thou settest thine hand unto. And all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Mm. These were the things he told the children of Israel he said he would do. If they stayed focused, they did what they were supposed to. 
He said, but on this part, he said, but if thou shalt come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, cursed shalt thou be in the field, cursed shalt be the basket in thy storehouse, cursed shalt thou with fruit of thy body, and, and the fruit of thy land, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks, and the sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, cursed shalt thou be. He said, this is what's going to happen, basically, if you don't listen. This is the result if they did not stay focused. We see what happens when they are focused, and we see what happens if they do didn't stay focused. We see both sides of the spectrum. And it's the same thing it is with us. These are the things that happen when we do not stay focused. It's 2023. It's time to level up. My young men, my high-value Christian men, it is time to level up. It is time to stop focusing on, on dating. That's great. Dating is great and all that great stuff. And, and, and relationships, that's great. But it's time to focus on you. It's time to focus on your personal development. It's time to focus on getting better. It's time to focus on getting closer to God. It's time to focus on getting to your purpose and your goals. And the things that you need to be doing. 2023 can be your year. I say this time and time again. This can be your year, but you must stay focused. I know it took up a lot of time. Last part. So the result of staying focused means great things happen happening. Blessings start coming in. Things start coming together. You start getting the right people in your life. You start elevating. God starts putting you in, in, in different positions and doing things with you, right? You start being able to create things and deal with things, right? You start getting brands talking to you, right? You got a Christian brand talking to me right now, right? You start being able to be involved more. You start getting elevated. You get more responsibility. Your, your schedule is more full. Your schedule is full now because you're focused, right? Your basket is full. Your storehouse is full. Your life is full. Everything in your life is full. Why? Because you are staying focused and you are doing what you need to be doing. Right? You're able to get involved. You're able to reach more pe people. And ultimately, you get to go to heaven. Don't forget that. The ultimate goal is to go to heaven. And you'll be blessed. This is the result. Of being focused. People will begin to talk about you. You'll be known. Not just where you are in your community. Not just where you are right now. Not just in the place you're in right now. But people going to start. Hey, you heard about this kid? You heard about this person? You heard about, hey, have you heard about? And all of a sudden, a lot of people start talking about you. And you start going places. And people are like, hey, I know you. That's the blessings of God in your life. Now, don't forget, if you're not doing what God wants you to do, if you're not living like God wants you to live, don't expect that. I'm just saying, if you're not doing what God wants you to do, don't expect that. Don't expect your name to be mentioned. Don't expect to get right. Don't expect to have stripes and stars and things and great things happen to you. You've got to do this the right way. This is 2023. we got to get this right. we got to stay focused. And I'm saying that to myself, too, because too many times we get off track. We get sad, we get depressed, we get in our feelings and our emotions. And we start letting our emotions rule us. Right? So let's stay focused. You'll be known everywhere you go. You'll be in the community worldwide. People will start to know who you are. You'll be blessed. The Bible says you'll be blessed when you come in and you'll be blessed when you go out. Everything you touch will be blessed. Why? Because you're staying focused. Everything you do will be blessed. Why? Because you are staying focused. So I want you guys to remember to stay focused in this new year. This is a fresh start, fresh year. Let's stay focused and let's do what God wants us to do so we can be blessed, so we can elevate, so we can get to where God wants us to be. Well, I love y'all, SP Motivation Nation. I'll see y'all in the next podcast. Peace.